Oh, it's been going really well. Uh, the offense is, I feel like it's 10 times better than we were going into fall camp last year. Uh, I feel like we all collectively know as a group what, what, we, what we need to do and like what's expected out of us. And I feel like we're on the right track to do great things this season. Well, it's been made of the attitude. You guys just get meaner and more, I, I, I don't know, physical. Uh, I mean, personally, that's always been my attitude to go out and be physical. I, I mean, I, I never have not played like that. But me coming into my senior year and trying to be a leader of this team, I'm trying to portray that type of persona and attitude towards my teammates and have them be as physical, just, just as physical as me. Are you seeing the offensive line kind of masking the culture that Coach 2J wants to bring here and establish? Yes, yes. Uh, we are definitely trying to, we're definitely being the voice of the team and, and corralling our guys on offense to go out and compete with the D. And to get, we have a very good defense, very talented. So when we, we're doing better than them and they're like all, they have their calls messed up and signals messed up, then that helps us. And then, yeah, we, we do a lot to portray ourselves as like, the top of the team instead of being on the bottom of the defense. The tough you, guys, so yeah, to exactly. speak. What, was, what is Coach 2J, how do, how does, what type of things is he doing to implement more of that culture in, at BYU with you guys? What's he, what's he doing to establish that culture? With oh, you he's just being him. Just Coach 2J, he's, he's an he's a emotional, dramatic guy. He's, if he wants you to get after it, you got to go out there and got to go get after it, no matter what. He always wants people to be physical, be nasty, and go out and put people on the ground, no matter what. A lot of you guys were new last year. Haven't had that year and coming back, and it's basically the same guys back with some mm -hmm. additions. How's that helping you? Uh, it's helping us a lot. Uh, the chemistry is really well, and we all know what our strength, strengths and weaknesses are, and we can all pretty much base our, our protection calls and, and help each other out with that, knowing each other really well. Talk about some of the new guys, like guys like uh, Lapuajo and, uh, and Tooney. How, how are they oh, doing? Oh, man, they're, they're doing really well. Uh, I'm I'm impressed. Uh, Tooney is a beast, man. That kid can ball. I'm, I'm I'm excited to see what he can do this season. And Louis, he's he's on the up and up. Just coming off his mission, he's strong. He's a strong kid, physical, athletic. All he needs to do is figure out the system, and he'll be he be all right. He's going to do fine. With with limited contact and limited pad work, sometimes it's hard to get the running game going. But you guys have seen you know opened up some big holes for the running backs. Pretty pleased as far as what you've been able to do run block wise and here in spring. Yeah, yeah. We're I mean, we are like we are pleased, but in my mind we can do better. I feel like every play we should at least get five to ten, every play, no matter what. So when we don't get five to ten, that bugs me. If I know it bugs coach and. And we, I mean, we try to do the best we can to, you know, get get that mark in my in my eyes. Talk about how Jamal's changed. It seems like he's yelling at you guys back there, <laughs> being a little vocal. Yeah, he's being a little vocal. He's getting a little nasty out there. Um, he he just wants us as an offense to stop being the underdog, which which is pretty much the persona that that we're all trying to bring as a culture to be with to be even with our defense, if not above our defense. So he's he wants to get after it. He wants to do well this season. We have a good chance to go undefeated this season, looking at our schedule. And and <clears throat> we're taking big strides and leaps and bounds to, to do great things this season. So, so when he barks out stuff, yeah, it's not like you're rolling your eyes. It's like, yeah, oh, Jamal, no, whatever no. you want, Jamal. Not at all. <laughs> no, Jamal, it's, no, it's just like it motivates <laughs> us. We're like, yeah, let's go. If our, if our running back is saying, let's go, then it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a motivator to get us to go. Isn't it nice having guys – Physical guys uh, like like uh, Algie and, and Paul back there. Oh yeah, yeah, man. You know you can. All, they're always reliable. You can always count on being physical. That you know they're not ever going to be physical. So it's good. You can always rely on them. So Jamal said that the that the running backs and old line rooms right next to each other. Yeah. He said like when you notice something that the other guys didn't do well, you know he goes over there. <laughs> you come over to yeah. the running back. Yeah. He said he went over there one time and just like threw a chair and was like, "Get your stuff together." Did that really happen? Oh no, he's over exaggerating. <laughs> Jamal never came in our room and did anything like that. If anything, we go to their room and tell them they need to get it together because without us, I'm sorry they're not getting far. So. Well, he gave that example thing. He said you're the bigger version of his when you come into his room. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, man, that's like he's like a little bro, man. We go in there, we tell him like the certain things and calls him texts that we need in order for us to be successful, and he's just like, all right, you know, and he, and he gets it done though, no matter what, he gets it done. But, but how nice is it to have that? that I don't know that that interaction, just just kind of that that fun place. It's like it's good, it's great. It's like team chemistry, it's bonding. It's like like he's the little brother, and it's just like. 
come on, like he's motivating me to do better. So it's just being reliable on each other, and it's a great feeling when when the running backs can come to the O-line and tell us that, oh, you guys need to do this, and when the O-line can go to the running back room and tell them, oh, we need to work better on that. And it's not like a hate thing, like, oh, he's coming at us foul. No, it's just we, we all want to do better collectively, and it's a great feeling.